We are watching history repeat itself. What we're seeing today is President Zelensky, who put it right on the table when he said, quote, the world's most powerful forces are watching from afar. And Putin's ego must be so inflated because he's got the Western world bowed down as he, as a political thug, goes in to attack a sovereign nation. And the West is just kind of like, oh, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe we'll sanction this. Maybe we'll sanction that. And the truth is, this isn't a movie. It looks like a movie. But these are real people who are dying. These are real people who have been begging us as we watch them line up the troops and the tanks and the blood and the temporary hospitals. And every day we saw what they were, what they were getting ready to do. And I get that Zelensky didn't want to panic his people. I get that he didn't tell them, you know, it's time to get out. But right now, this is about raw power. It's not about religion. It's not about people who hate each other. It's about a, a, a thug who wants the Russian empire back. And you know what? The idea that the United States is today buying 500,000 barrels of oil from this thug and allowing him to make money that allows him then to fight this war is disgusting. Yeah, and couldn't. I'm going to add one more thing. Yeah. I got to keep going. Hang on. The bottom line is that Biden doesn't want to disrupt the, uh, the Russian energy exports. And we could have done it with the Keystone Pipeline. And this is all a setup. And he's talking about he doesn't want it, the Americans to suffer. In the end, the Americans are suffering and the Ukrainians are suffering. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.